Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Parenting Essentials. And if today is your first time of watching, thank you for stopping by. And today promises to be an amazing time again. Come on, let's learn some other essentials. Let's get started. Today's episode is what I call self-check on the signs of bad parenting. I believe that most parents want to be the best parent to their children. So today, I'll be giving you some of the things for our self-check in order to ensure that we are not bad parents. First of all, I'll be talking about verbal abuse. Many parents vent their frustration on their children without realizing how much damage or psychological damage they've caused to their children. It is very important for us as parents to always checkmate ourselves to ensure that our frustrations are not passed on to our children by negative words. This can bring about psychological issues, low self-esteem, delay in social development, avoid using insults as a form of punishment to your child. If you tell your child he or she is of no use, you have no value, you are useless, these are not punishment and they create a whole lot of damage in the mental state of a child. So rather use time out punishment or a restriction or just use any other thing we've talked about in the past. You can use negative reinforcement, but try as much as you can never to use a verbal abuse or a negative word on your child. Avoid neglecting your child. Both physical and emotional neglect is a common type of child abuse. Neglect can make your child feel worthless or affect the social developmental stage of your child. So, never neglect your child. Make sure you always give listening ears, make sure you give attention. Those who have been neglected probably have difficulty in maintaining any kind of relationship later in life. Your children need to feel loved and cherish, patronize their good behavior and well-being. Setting a bad example. No parent should set any kind or any form of bad example to their children. Whatever you are doing as a parent, be it mother or father, that you wouldn't like your child to emulate or see. Most of the time you just tell your child, don't do this. It's not good enough for you. Or some parents don't even care because they don't even care about themselves. Please stop it. Don't do it again. Many parents who are drug addicts, their children most of the time end up being drug addicts or any other negative habits that anybody might have. There's so many bad examples we can be to our children. It's not about having drugs. So many negative things that we don't even see as negative things. So check yourself and show you are not a bad parent. I go back to those who gossip. I go back to those who, who never say anything good about people. Whatever you do, make sure it's good enough for your children or your child to emulate. Favorism or partiality. Never ever show that you prefer one child to another. They tend to get depressed later in life. So it is a bad parenting to always tell your children, I don't like you enough. I like your brother better. I don't like you enough. I like your sister better. A lot of parents do it out of ignorance. You think you want to help the other child. I'm going to tell her I don't love her enough so that she can do better. It is never a form of reinforcement to show to a child that you prefer the other child to him or her. Never ever try to correct your child by showing your child that you like the other better than your child. It brings about depression, insecurity, low self-esteem. Please don't be a bad parent. Too much pampering or over-involvement is the opposite of neglect. Many parents get too much involved in their children's activity. They don't allow them to grow. They don't allow them to think for themselves. They don't allow them to take any decision, to make any mistakes. Allow your child 
to try. As long as you know that this thing is not going to harm your child. Correct your child. This is not good enough. But let your child try. Wait and watch. As long as it's not going to harm your child, let your child try and see where correction will be needed. Some children are over pampered and some parents are over domineering. They do not allow their children to grow. Even when they are being asked questions, they speak for their children. Allow your children to answer questions. What is your name? Just like that, you answer. Your child is being asked, not you. Mommy, daddy, relax. Let your child take charge. Let your child fall and stand up by herself. Some parents are over involved right from the very beginning. Even your child is trying to walk. Just a little fall, not so bad. Just tell your child, come on, you can do it, stand up. You run there and just pick up your child. Your child will always wait for mommy to pick me up. Come on, don't do that. Allow your child to rise. Just encourage your child. It goes a long way in the affairs of life. Encourage your child. You can do it. Come on. Get up. Come on, darling. Let your child get up and walk again. Your child can do mistake. It's okay. Encourage your child to correct herself. Don't be over involved. Don't be so pampering. A lot of people look at me and like, Hoye, are you really serious? You waited for those children for six years. What are you doing right now? Oh, oh yes. I waited for them for six years, but that does not mean I will overpamper them. No, they need to think, try, fail, correct it. So, don't be a bad parent by getting too involved or overpampering. Another one like he is not trusting your child. Hmm, bad parenting. You don't even trust your own child. You trust other people's children over your own child. That is a sign of bad parenting. Self check, correct yourself. Some parents will not even allow their children or their child to say a word. What any other child says, you believe, and you're just gonna shut your child up. Trust your children, trust your child. Allow them to grow. I'm gonna call myself back and check. What are you doing out of these things? Hmm, I think I've checked. Okay, all right, check yourself and ensure you don't have any sign of bad parenting. I believe you have taken a point or two today on signs of bad parenting. Check yourself, ensure you are not a bad parent. In case you still have any other question, you can always send us any question at any time on our email. It just display on the screen, thevisionguy at gmail.com. If there's anything you would like me to speak about, or any question just go ahead send us an email all our videos are available on our facebook page and also on our youtube channel at the vision guide thank you once again don't be tired keep sharing keep the like keep the comment rolling i really really love you i mean it i love you for your support thank you so much thank you stay blessed i'll see you again next week it's from the vision guide your parenting coach i am boy Oh, you liar. Bye for now. I love you all.